Right, troops, welcome back. The situation is there's been a major fire at Billsdale transmission masts, which feeds us with local radio and all our television channels. That's been off air for over a week now because the damage is quite substantial and there are concerns about the structural stability of the 314 metre tower over a thousand feet high. So we haven't got many alternatives, well we haven't got any alternatives really because although they have upgraded the services on some other local towers like Eston Nab, we've got no direct line of sight to Eston Nab because there's two hills in the way, although it's very close if I go up the road I can actually see it. The only other alternative is Pontop Pike which is just outside Newcastle which is a long way away and almost in 180 degrees in the opposite direction. But that's what I've been trying for with this antenna here is the Pontop Pike transmissions. And on a clear day when it's not cloudy or raining we can receive signals from the stronger stations but if it starts raining we just lose it. So I'm thinking because there's some signal there if I put a masthead amplifier on this as a temporary arrangement we might get away with it until they manage to make alternative arrangements at Billsdale which they're doing they're putting a, another 80 metre mast up so we'll just have to see how that goes but that won't be done until the end of August so We've got to make alternative arrangements until then. So anyway, I've bought a masthead amplifier and it is this one here. Can you see that? The LTE or the Woolsey LTE WFAV25 which is a UHF uh, frequency range 470 to 782 megahertz with a variable gain of between 12 and 25 dB. So in this box are basically two units. The amplifier itself and I've taken the taken the front cover off just so as I can uh, Get to the get to the fittings here and power supply. So that's what came in the box. But you, it's got connectors on it which are called F connectors, and uh, I don't have any of them. And neither do the shop downtown because everybody must have the same idea, and I left it a little bit late, and so. I'm having to improvise. Now this is a piece of coaxial cable which has an F connector on the end of it uh, and you can't really just splice coaxial cable together because you muck up the, uh, the, the impedance or the resistance of it at the frequencies involved. But uh, we're going to have to give it a go, make sure we solder the connections and protect the outer from the inner because we're trying to feed DC voltage down it uh, so we don't want it shorting out. So that's the project anyway uh, and we're going to start by taking the masthead amplifier itself and sticking it on the base of the, of the antenna and we are provided with the cable tie to do that. It's got some slots in it there. Just go through there, back of there. Wrong way around. It's all trial and error. And that just clips on to there. like so.
So this is the amplifier part and we need to connect the antenna straight into the amplifier and you need this amplifier reasonably close, this is probably too close, you want about a metre of cable or so from the antenna but you need it reasonably close because you want to be amplifying the best signal you're getting not putting it down at the television end where you've probably lost some power from the signal due to the resistance in the cable and maybe it's picked up some interference so you'll be amplifying the interference well you can't see that very well because we've got uh, brightness coming in from outside because that's a bit better so because I've already got an F connector on this piece of cable what I might do is cut enough of this cable off and wire the cable from the amplifier directly into the antenna and that's one connection done so I'll get on with that right so this is the bit that connects into the aerial and we've got that connected to the amplifier so we've just got to put the aerial back together now we can remember how it goes Right then, so now we've got the amplifier connected to the antenna, we can now connect the output of the amplifier to the input of the transformer. This is more than just a, a transformer, it actually feeds the signal from the antenna or from the antenna amplifier to the TV at the same time passing 12 volts up that same line uh, is passing a 12 volts DC up to the amplifier to power the amplifier which is then passing the AC signal down the line and you can do that with, uh, with, by putting capacitors on the, on the line Anyway, we're not going to worry about the technicalities of it, we just want to try and get it working. So I'll just uh, take the, open the power lead off here. Now I can use, for this next uh, section, I can use one of my little jumper cables. Now I want this I want these connections slightly more than hand tight but not much more hand tight I don't want to wreck them I don't have the right spanner I'm just going to put some pliers on and just give it not even a quarter turn past what I could manage hand tight There's our doorbell going I'll just get that Right, so now we've got the amplifier output connected to the input of the power supply. All I've got to do now is connect the TV end, TV cable, cable that goes into the back of the TV, to the TV, the TV point on the uh, power supply. But I don't have an F connector to do that. So what I'm going to do and what you shouldn't do is I'm going to cut one of these I'm going to cut uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, connector off one of these ends and splice it in which you shouldn't do uh, that's asking for trouble 
much. <laughs> but you know, I haven't got any choice. So. Right, so just to recap then, we're pointing the television antenna at the Pontop Pike transmitter, which normally we can't receive, but uh, hopefully to get a signal, we've got a power amplifier there, masthead power amplifier, right at the antenna, so we're amplifying the maximum signal we're getting, and hopefully we're not introducing any excess noise into the system before we do that. So there's two sockets on there, one's to the antenna, that one marked input 470 to 782 megahertz and one marked output. The output goes down and connects to the power supply and as well as the power supply 12 volts DC going up that line to work the amplifier the signal comes down that line same line goes into what is the amplifier and then out of this box here which is the power supply and junction box for the signal it goes down to the TV so the proof is always in the pudding so let's plug it in here, go down to the TV and see what we get. So we just plug it in, there's no on off switch, the little green light comes on. We'll go and see if we've got anything. Ah, one last thing before I do go down. There's a gain control here uh, from 12 dB to 25 dB. So I've set it, because we got virtually no signal whatsoever previously, uh, if it was clear like today we might just get the audio on the TV channels and you get the odd flash of video, but that's all. So I've turned it not to its maximum, but beyond halfway up and we'll see how that goes. And we'll see how the things warm up later on. Right, proof's in the pudding then, let's go down and see. Right, the television antenna goes into the, um, the video recorder and then from the video recorder the output of that is going into the television. So we're tuning the video recorder, hopefully. So it's now looking for digital signals. And at the moment it's found zero, which is not encouraging. Ah, <laughs> when it stalls like that, that is encouraging because it means it's going through the data. So we've got channels, 38 so far. So we're going to have the major channels within that 38. Well, we're now we're up to 69 and we've only got 17% done. So I would say that is a success. We've even got radio, radio stations. Okay, so if you're in a marginal area, then a masthead amplifier makes a massive difference.
different towers will transmit on different frequencies so it's probably already covered the frequencies that uh, Pontop Pike transmits on. But 107, total of 107 channels when before we had about four or five intermittent. Right, we'll save that. Uh, Seize the mail line. Now. Okay, I better switch that off because that's uh, we don't want to we don't want to get a copyright uh, strike, do we? Right, so that's. Uh, that's the TV sorted out then. Fantastic. What do you think about it? Me? Eh? You can watch your cartoons now. Right, that's it for now then. I'll get back with something a bit more bushcraft related presently. I'll catch you later.